My first keeper of 2021 is a winter flounder. Let me show you how I caught it. The rig I use has two flounder hooks. Uh, one of the hooks is attached to the bottom of the rig with a snap swivel at the end of it. And I attached a second hook about you know six inches or so above that rig using a dropper loop to attach the hook to the rig. For bait, I used uh, gulp sandworms. These are artificial sandworms that, that, are, that have an artificial scent to attract the fish. You can use um, natural sandworms as well, but you know they, they come apart for me and they don't last too long. I, I've had better luck with the artificial sandworms. I also have a, a one ounce weight attached to the snap swivel to bring the rig close to the bottom of the ocean. I also have a lucky fishing hat, which uh, my wife and daughter gave to me on Father's Day, and this is the, uh, the day after Father's Day that I'm fishing. To catch the flounder, you have to cast the rig out into the ocean, uh, let the rig sink to the bottom, or close to the bottom, and then reel it slowly, um, trying to keep your rig close to the bottom of the ocean. Oftentimes you'll catch weed or rocks, and um, you might think that you have a fish on, so check your rig and your hooks and your bait often to make sure that you haven't caught weed and lost the, um, the worm, for example. Once you feel a little bite or a little nibble, give the fish a few seconds to swallow the, the worm, because flounder have small mouths, and you want to give them time to swallow the length of the worm and eventually swallow the part of the worm where your hook is attached. Flounder uh, are flat fish, and they sit flat on the bottom of the ocean like a doormat. Uh, their backs are actually black in color and allow them to camouflage within the sand. Their bellies are white colored or light colored, so they're very interesting fish. When they're born, their two eyes are actually located on either side of the mouth, on one cheek and then the other eyes on the other. But when they turn about six weeks old, I've read that their eyes actually migrate to one cheek. For winter flounder, which I'm targeting, uh, the, the, the two eyes end up on the right cheek. And then for summer flounder, which is a larger fish, uh, we don't have those in the area. They're, they're further south of us. Um, summer flounder is also called fluke. The eyes end up on the left cheek. For winter flounder here in the Boston area, the limit is to have fish uh, 12 inches minimum, and then you can catch eight of them north of Cape Cod. These fish are delicious. If you catch them, they're the perfect size to fit in your wok or your cast iron skillet. Um, don't bother trying to fillet them because they're fairly small. Just take out the guts and cook them whole. You know, cut a few slices on, on one side and the other, season it, and then you can either, you can deep fry it or pan sear it. It's delicious. If you fish and catch flounder, please share any comments in, in, in the comment section below. Tell me how you catch your flounder. And if you have any recipes on how to cook flounder, I'd love to hear about that as well. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click like, comment, or subscribe. I'd love to hear from you. I've also got a uh, kayak fishing playlist on my YouTube channel that you might enjoy. Thanks for watching.